everybody. My name is Sandra. Welcome to my channel. So today I am doing my plan with me from 24th to the 30th. One thing I want to say, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning on Friday. And this video will be posting Saturday, October 22nd. My son does not have school today, so I'm letting the kids sleep in. Hoping I can get this done before they wake up, but there's no guarantee. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I am going to use... Um, my sticker kit that I used from Cricut Paper Co. for the very first decorative plan with me in my, well, not the very first, but the, the bigger plan with me in my my Erin Condren. I'm going to try to use up these stickers. That's my goal today because I don't want to waste any of the sticker kit. So yeah, these are from oh, Cricut Paper Co. And I'm also going to supplement that with um, my munchkins from once more with love my coras from let's planet and some of my own designs so um without further ado let's get into it um i can't believe it but next week i'll already be thinking about changing my binder so as you might already know i will be moving into my tyler binder and everything's going to be quite neutral for november i think i just wanted to share this with you i got these the other day guys so i ordered some ollie clips from ollie block I got this blue one because I thought it would match my blue Olivia binder <laughs> and it's you know it's it's a matte navy blue. I got this neutral one it's kind of shiny which is weird I didn't think it was like a shiny one um and it's just like this neutral beige color. Then I got this um pearlescent one it's like I guess I, I don't know if calling it a gold one. I was planning on using it in this one here because it kind of matches. And then my black one, uh, plain matte black one. I was, I didn't, I don't really like the jumbo ones because I think they're too big and too awkward in my Franklin planner. So I'm just sticking with the large ones. And these were all on sale. So that's why I went ahead and uh, ordered a few. Okay. So, whoops, those are those. I might have a chance to use this one today. Okay. So, first things first, um, this is what the front of my planner looks like. Um, yesterday I was supposed to do a reel about my plans for today and I failed epically, so I'm going to do that today. I still haven't even made plans for today. I'm still on Thursday. Still a couple of things I didn't do. Um, I'm going to have to do that today if I find time. I do have a doctor's appointment today too. It's my very first OBGYN appointment. So, um, it's exciting. I'm, I'm surprised because I'm already 28 weeks pregnant. I'm surprised that they left it so late because I actually have to give birth at 37 weeks because of the danger of how big my baby could be. So, and I don't have like gestational diabetes or anything. It's just because my last one was almost 10 pounds. So I don't want a 12 pound baby. That is not, not okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go to my routine tab and pick out my weekly task card. So the first thing I always say is to review my goals. I don't think I have a new one, so I'm going to grab one of those quick, but um, let's pull this one out. I haven't even crossed anything off this week, and honestly, guys, I don't think I've really done a whole lot either. I can't, I can't say I've been very efficient this week. I have felt so terrible. Um, pregnancy is super hard <laughs> when you're 40. Um, I just, I feel like I'm, I'm like exhausted all the time now and my daughter is keeping me on my toes. Let's just say that I cannot keep up. Okay. So I think I'm going to be using my actual compass card today. So I'm going to leave this aside for after. Um, okay. So let's look at this journaling. I have journaled. I'm going to cross it off because I didn't specify about like twice a night or whatever, but, um, I haven't been journaling at night and I, eh. I'm going to give myself a lot of grace the next upcoming like weeks because I haven't felt like doing anything. You guys, I'm exhausted. Like I was saying, my daughter is crazy. Can I just say she's two, but she's crazy too. She's super bored. Um, I think I'm going to have to find some type of like gifted school to put her in before kindergarten or something like preschool is expensive. So I'm sure a gifted school would be too, but I need to find some type of program or something to do to keep her occupied because she, when she's bored, she gets into everything and she could do her ABCs and she could count to 10. That was before she turned two. So I guess she was one already. I'm teaching her to write now. She's two and she still hasn't got a, a good grasp on how to hold a pen and like the physical parts aren't there. So she couldn't actually go to school yet. 
but her brain is there. Like she's super smart. It's, there's a lot of things that she gets into. I'm at my wit's end on some days. Like sometimes I just sit down and cry. I don't feel bad. Be like, I mean, every month, I'm sure every mother does that. It's been a little rough and I've been experiencing super painful round ligament pain. So like, even if I turn over in bed, it hurts. I've been trying to use a regular pillow. It hurts. Everything hurts. And um, I've been feeling the strain on my stomach. I've been feeling the strain, like the weight strain gained probably about since my episode. Um, I lost like 10 pounds then and I've gained about 20 back. I'm, I'm feeling everything. My ankles are swelling. It's just getting to that point where I'm not comfortable anymore. So anyway, so I'm going to give myself a lot of grace. <laughs> So I did Tarot Oracle this week, the kids journals. I have not been drinking enough water, but I have been reading every night and I'll give you guys an update of where I am on my books. This is Outlander. So I'm almost halfway. Like that's not doing too bad. I'm not going to, probably not going to finish it for October though. Um, today's 21st. I've got 10 more days, but I probably won't finish this in 10 days. But I have been reading for a long time every day, say 20 minutes, sometimes 30, depending on how much time my daughter lets me have. And then this one, The Lost Witch, I'm probably going to finish this one today. It's a pretty small book, so the writing is quite big. So yeah, this one will be done today. So I can cross that off because I have been reading, um, you know, all the time for business. Let's see what we've done so far. I have done a lot of stuff. I did not get the Christmas icons, but I did do, if you guys are interested in checking it out, um, maybe I'll put a screenshot on my screen because I just think they're so cute. They're so adorable. I did Christmas countdown stickers because I realized I didn't have any. Um, and I also added a whole bunch of uh, planner charms, Christmas planner charms to my Etsy shop and my website. And uh, I think they're adorable. Um, I'll leave a screenshot of both of them. But I do have a Facebook page. I'm trying to grow it. I've got 19 followers right now. And um, for the new year, one of my goals is to start doing a subscription newsletter once a month. I think once a week is maybe too much and too much work for me to write. So I think once a month is a good, a good update. Um, I'll just have to have all my ducks in a row because I want to let you guys know what like the, the video schedule is, what the, um, just like all the updates, you know, like what my posting schedule, if I'm going to have a sale that month, all that kind of thing. So, um, I want to start that. I do have a few uh, newsletter subscribers on my website. I just haven't done one yet. So as soon as I do, I'm probably going to try to set that up in January because, well, we'll see how much time I have. I'll also have a newborn too. So we'll see. Um, so Xmas countdown I did. My blogs I did. Budget, yes. Erin Condren plan with me was yesterday. Franklin today. I did do my Compoco haul. That video is up. Cultivate What Matters. I did film the video and it's posting on, I want to say Sunday. So you guys will see that. I finally got my products in. They came in, how long? 10 days, 12 days, a week? I don't know. It was a while after the initial launch, which was super disappointing to me because how can the company expect their affiliates to be, to be successful if they don't give them the product in time? So and it wasn't even the shipping. Shipping was terrible. Um, it came through DHL, but um, they didn't send it out till like five or six days after I'd ordered it, maybe a whole week. And that was like four or five business days. So I just don't really understand what went on there. And I'm not too pleased about that. But when I actually got the product, I was pleasantly surprised. So I know there's been a lot of concern about the changes, but you guys should check that video out because I try to put a positive spin on it because there has been such negativity around it lately. And um, as you guys know, I'm about the product, not about the company so much. So Xmas terms I did and it took forever to list them, by the way. Um, November bullet journal, I drew it out. It's going to change drastically. I'm going to go back to doing a drawing challenge this month for November, and I'm also going to do a lettering challenge. So I'm going to take out the um, all the planning stuff. So the front page is going to get, like, have you guys ever seen Shada Campbell? Um, I'm going to link her channel because she's a really gorgeous artist. Like she loves, like her, her art is beautiful. I'm going to draw some chrysanthemums because they are November's flower. And that's going to go on my title page, like my cover page for November. And then I'm going to do a cutout just to make it look really cute. And that is basically all I'm doing for the month of November for drawing wise. And then the rest of it, I'll have like a monthly schedule, a content schedule, and then 
it's going to be like mood tracker, habit tracker, dream log, etc. Like just pretty much trackers and logs. And then I'll do like the two challenges and that's it. So I'm getting rid of the weekly schedule. I'm getting rid of like anything to do with scheduling because I don't need that in a bullet journal. So I'm changing it. And I think I'm just going to do a black and white drawing. I'm not going to be coloring it in, I don't think. I drew that out. I was supposed to film it yesterday, but yesterday was a write-off. Uh, my daughter did not sleep. And then I had to get some leaves yesterday. Um, I had to pick up the leaves in the front yard, so I just didn't have time. Um, same with the November goal planning. I started, like, in my Cultivate What Matters, I did the calendar so I know what's going on in my life. And I did some of the initial brainstorming, but I left the tending list and the other page because... Um, I think when I film that video, I want to film those parts, so I'll show everything else, but I think I'm just going to film like the two pages and then talk about my goals. So I think that's a good plan too. Um, so those are the two things I haven't got to yet, but I will be doing those because my bullet journal is actually supposed to be posting for Monday and today is Friday. So I only have a handful of days to work on those two things and the bullet, the goal planning is next week as well. So I have to get on that. Okay, so edit blog, I did, I transferred it, and I did list the Christmas charms, okay? Now on the back, as far as any of this stuff, I never did a single thing, like at all. So this meant the counter, the table, and I have no idea. <laughs> um, I did do part of the yard cleanup, but that's only because yesterday a cold front came in so all my plants are still doing really really well I probably should water them today but um it's gonna freeze tonight so it's gonna be minus two and I think on Wednesday I think it said it's gonna be minus five so if it's gonna freeze overnight my plants are probably all gonna die and I don't want to water them because if I'm trying to empty out the soil the soil is gonna freeze and I don't want to have to empty that if it's gonna be so heavy so um I did part of it but I didn't hardly do anything else. Like nothing else got done. So this is kind of where I'm struggling right now because I haven't got the motivation or the energy to do any of it. Yeah, so this is something I'm going to have to get help with because I can't do it by myself anymore. As for these things here, I did not do the optometrist appointments. I should have taken advantage of today and Monday because they are not holidays. My son has them off, but I didn't even call to make appointments. I guess I still could to see if they had something open. But I have my appointment today, so I might have to call for Monday and see if they have something then. My son might be sleeping over at my mom's tomorrow, which is Saturday. Um, we did watch a movie last night. And I also want to check in on my friend. Um, I should probably talk to her. I'll try to message her today. She, there's no guarantee she'll answer because she had a surgery on a Wednesday. And I don't know how she'll be doing. Like, I don't even know if she'll want to talk or anything. So I, we actually contacted each other. When was it? The beginning of the week, I think. So I did talk to her, but... I just want to make sure that she's okay. Okay, as for other, none of that stuff got done at all. <laughs> so these are the things I'm going to have to work on. And I feel like I keep adding them to my list week after week. And they just I just put them to the side and I don't do it. So unfortunately, either they won't get done, which I mean, it's not the end of the world. But I do need to go through the kids clothes right because of the baby is coming I need to go through and see what I what I can get rid of and what I need to keep out of those boxes so that's important the Rubbermaid containers I want to do it for Swedish death cleaning because I know that once the baby comes I'm not going to have time or energy I'll be way too tired more, probably more tired than I am now so I don't know I just don't know how that's gonna when I'm going to get time to do that but my mom's going to help me do the floors today I'll do the fridge at some point I don't really care about that that stuff, I don't really care. I'm not even going to put that stuff on there anymore. Bathrooms, I'll just spot clean. But the Rubbermaid containers, um, I, I should really do that. I just haven't had the courage to work up and like actually go through the stupid containers. So I'm going to get rid of that. And normally what I do is I look at the things I have going on. But I'm going to change how I'm doing it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do this first. So normally I view my calendar, my master tasks, and then I do the goals, but I like to do it this way better. It just seems more intuitive to me. So I'm going to fold these in half. I've got two in here, and then I'll stick them both in here after. So I'm going to quickly fill this out, and I'll be right back.
Okay, so what we did here, um, now I feel like when I do a compass card instead of like the weekly progressive task list, while I can make that more decorative, I feel like I put a lot of tasks on there or like things to do rather than like something that relates to a role or a value. So here it kind of forces you to put your um, your goals in the form of roles. So um, who you are in relation to the things in your life, right? Uh, so for instance, as a homeowner, I still have tasks to do, but that relates to my goal of being a proper homeowner. So um, I'm going to do yard cleanup, try to get that done this week because everything is going to freeze and it's going to have to be done. Um, print pictures so I can start on my photos for my walls. Um, buy, I might just buy one new frame because I have one and I don't need two. I'm just going to get one, I think. And um, the baby stuff in the basement and the Rubbermaid container. So I'm just going to focus on that. I didn't bother putting cleaning stuff on here. And then... For mom, you'll notice I have mom and then I have new mother down here because there's two different things I have to do. So this is all the stuff with my kids. So I need to focus on um, catching up with my son's work. So there's a few things he's falling behind on that we're going to work on going forward. Um, potentially watch another movie because it is a long weekend for him right now. Um, but that will go into like Monday, maybe Sunday or Monday. I don't know. Well, maybe this will be for next week too. And then... Um, I put playground question mark because it's going to get really cold. It's only going to be two during the week, like two degrees Celsius, which is like really cold. Um, and it's probably going to start snowing too. Um, and then I put takeout on there, which doesn't really matter. Biz owner, I put the two most important things, I guess. Um, I mean, video creation is also, but I can put video and then editing. That's something that I constantly do. But the blogs, I'm trying to catch up so that when the baby comes, I'm not like having to rush to like catch up and do blogs all the time. So I think right now I'm at the middle of January, so I'm in a pretty good spot. And then for November, I'll be doing eight of them. So for October, I think I still have, let's see, how many weeks left? Is it just next week? Today is the 21st, so yeah, so just next week on the 25th, so I'll be doing two more. Um, I'm just going to double check here because I'm curious. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm at January 16th as of today, so then I would be January 30th, and then I'd have eight more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it would bring me to March 27th, and then if I had any more to do in December, I still could. So, I mean, I have a few more weeks before the baby comes. So I could very well be in April by the time I'm done. And then that will give me like <clears throat> four months to play catch up. And of course, I'm not going to leave it that long. I always like to have them scheduled well in advance because then I don't have to worry about them. But because I always feel like there's lots of pressure when uh, I have to do a blog. like, And it hasn't been, I have no possibility or idea what it's going to be. So, um, okay. So administrator, I need to plan out my goals. I technically already have that done, but just to be a little bit more solid in that, um, plan November setup. I, I do have some things ready to go for my November setup. I've got my dividers, well, not my dividers ready because I'm going to use these ones again, but I've got um, some of the dashboards I'll be using. I have my new inserts I'll be using for the month and um, I'm excited to set all that up. And then my November biz schedule, I kind of did a business schedule for November on my iPad through my business app, but I'm not quite sure. Not my business app, but um, a planner that I just use strictly for business that I kind of like pre-plan on because it's on an iPad and I can erase it and it's super easy. Um, it's kind of like my content schedule, I guess. Um, treasure, I never usually include this, but I figured I wanted to. So Again, including um, paying my credit cards off. Our November budget, which is technically done, but I have to finish it as the bills come in. I write them in. Save for sinking funds. Right now we're, on, we're over $4,000, so I feel like we're in a really good place. And have a budget meeting with my husband. Um, we can do that on FaceTime this week. And I just think it's important to check in with your other half to figure out where you're, where you're sitting in 
you know, in your money situation. Okay. As a new mother, um, baby shower. So I basically am hosting it myself. My mom is going to be hosting it for me, but, um, it's going to be at my house. I set it up on Facebook and I have to invite some people who are not on Facebook. So I have to give them a call and I have to do that soon. And then also just getting some supplies to decorate and stuff. And then also figure out if there's any like hors d'oeuvres I want to set up. My mom's going to make deviled eggs. I might have like some mini sandwiches or something that people can have. And then family member, um, as a family member, I want to call my friend, check in with her, see how she's doing. Um, get my mom's help with stuff around the house. FaceTime husband and then FaceTime mother-in-law. So that's um, something we've been trying to do weekly or every two weeks just to kind of check in and say hi because she's a Mundare, which is about an hour away. And we don't get to see her because she runs her own business as well. So we don't see her that often. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here. And like after I'm done this plan with me, I'm going to have to figure out my Friday thing. So I'll probably do a reel and post that as soon as I'm done. Okay. So now the next thing to do is to check in with my calendar and my master tasks for the month. And I'll also check the week and uh, just see kind of how we're going here. Okay. So for the 24th to the 30th. So I have my November bullet journal posting on Monday, my blog to do. And I think that one is um, getting ready for your 2023 goals. So that's probably a good time to start thinking about your goals, you guys, if you haven't already. Um, my son has no school on Monday. Tuesday, I have a parent-teacher interview at 345. So I'll probably just stay at the school. I have my daughter there and then we'll have a quick conversation about how my, how my son is doing posting my November goals video for Wednesday. So keep in mind, I still have my daily tasks to do on those days. So Monday, I do a lot of my journaling tasks. Tuesday, I do my stickers. Wednesday, I do um, my blogs and I also film my budget. So Thursday, we get paid. So I pay the bills, um, post my budget, early dismissal for my son, and I'll probably grab some groceries. I'll grab groceries on Monday too. So we'll use some stickers for that. And then on Friday is the Sephora Rouge haul sale. So what I want to do this week before that happens, I actually want to go, um, there's a couple of channels I watch that they talk about like everything that's coming up in the sale, what they were thinking about buying some new products that are interesting. So I might take a look at that. I do have a list of things I want to get from the sale. So I'm pretty much focusing on skincare this time. I usually never do. I don't really like to buy expensive skincare because I feel like it's a waste, but my skin has been really dry and I want to get some salicylic acid. I want to get some, um, just like stuff that I never really buy. I'm going to use this. I think it's called pharmacy honey halo cream and it's got honey in it. And I don't know if it's a good cream or not, but I'm hoping it is because apparently it's really moisturizing and it's good for your skin. So, um, it's also garbage day and I have to do yard cleanup. So I want to make sure that I maximize the space in our compost bin. Like I did this week, I stuffed me and my son stuffed it with leaves to uh, kind of clean up the yard, but it's a good way to, you don't have to use bags or anything. You just put it right in the green bin. And then my November plan is me. So this is when I have to set up that. So that's going to be a big week. I'll do that on Thursday, have it up for Friday. My son has pizza day on Friday, so I don't have to, um, I've already ordered that. So I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to make his lunch on Friday. So it'll be good because he'll only have lunch Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then um, Saturday will just be the weekly um the weekly plan with me for Franklin and then Sunday, which is up here. I didn't actually put the video in, but this will be my Erin Condren. And also my sister's birthday. So I haven't made plans with her, but I do have a gift for her. So I have to get that wrapped up on this week too. So that's another task I'll have to do. Okay. So, and I'll try to remember that stuff as I go through my week. Um, for anything on here, um, again, a lot of the stuff 
I could start doing my November meal plan. I don't really follow it. I never followed October's at all. Um, I'll probably maybe write one out because I do have some wild cards for my Cultivate What Matters. I just kind of write it on my wild card. I stick it in my, my goal planner and then refer to it when I want to. Um, I have my OBGYN appointment today, so I'm going to cross that off. Optometrist appointments I probably still want to make. I really do want to list those Facebook things. I haven't even thought about that at all. And yeah, there's still a lot of things I'll be carrying probably over to November. And I'll have to get this stuff done in November. Like, I'll have no choice. I just, I've been finding it's difficult when my husband's not here. So, like, on top of, like, the, the daily house chores, right? Like the daily house chores, the daily things that normally he would do, the normal things I would do, take my kid to school, I make his lunch, get up early, do all of my business work. I'm also trying to do all of these extra tasks and I'm finding it really challenging. So I'm, I'm not going to overpressure myself because I don't want to freak out. I don't want to go into an emotional roller coaster downhill. <laughs> So I'm just taking it in stride and doing what I can and not over pressuring myself. But I do feel like the pressure has got to me this week. Um, I feel like I can tell you guys that because I don't know, like I'm pretty open and honest about that kind of thing. I'm not going to hide it, but I have been feeling a little bit of pressure. Um, not so much anxiety, but just like, you know, I've I've been feeling a bit more like I could sit down and have a cry. You know what I mean? Like, just to release some of the emotion, not emotion, because I'm not overly emotional this pregnancy, but release some of the pressure because I feel like there's a lot that I'm tackling and I'm feeling the grind. So definitely, definitely been harder this month. Um, okay. And yeah, the duster, the dressers really need to be dusted. Oh, and I have to go through my daughter's clothes. So, oh, I hope I remember this. Let's see. Um, I'll write it down. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll have money, um, this paycheck coming up to add more money to the pot for clothes, but my kids are going to need winter boots. They do not have winter boots yet. And my daughter has like no clothes. <laughs> she needs sweaters. She needs pants. Um, nothing that fits her because she's just all of a sudden went through this growth spurt and nothing fits her. So I have to go through a dresser. I'm going to go through a dresser and do all of that as well. So there's a lot of stuff I have to tackle this week. I just realized I still have to do all of those three. Compoco haul I did. Um, digital work calendar. I think I set that up. I'm just going to have a quick peek here. I think I did though. I did this one. So that will be on Sunday. So basically I have to work on those three videos this week. Um, next week will be Franklin. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I have to, to add. So we'll come back to this list when I plan out my my new week. And this is the week that I'm currently in. I did not cross anything off. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Um, Monday, I did do all of these videos, I'm pretty sure. Did I have a, a video posting Wednesday? I think I did, but I don't remember what it was. Oh yeah, my Compoco haul. I'm also going to be getting Chrissy and Designs in soon. It should be in next week, I'm hoping. Um, budget posted yesterday. Erin Conjure will be posting today. So I did all of this stuff. Um, Tuesday, I didn't do the icons, but they were something else, so I did that. Wednesday, I did all of that plus extra stuff. Thursday, I designed the November bullet journal, but I did not film it. And then I also, I did not film the November goals, but I worked on it. And then I did the Erin Condren yesterday and we took out the recycle and the compost. And now we are, I will be planning, I'll be filming, I'm filming this one now and I'll be editing it right after. Okay. And then on the Sunday, I'll be doing my, my work plans for next week. So, um, okay, let's see. 
So I do have Danny's dresser and get clothes on here. This stuff I didn't even do. Wow. And I still have to go to Bath and Body Works. I'm running out of like soap, running out of lotion. So I need to find like a sale. I need to do that yet. Have to return a shawl equipment. Ugh, there's so many things to do. So I think when I do the new week, I'm just going to like leave this stuff out. I'll decorate this side a bit, but I'm going to not decorate this as much. So I have room to put all of the things I have to do. And then I'm going to see if I can start designating tasks. I'm going to have to get help from my mom. She is busy though, Monday, Tuesday, I think. Or was that Monday, Tuesday or Tuesday, Wednesday? I can't remember. She is busy though. Okay, so we looked at the calendar, the master tasks, um, and now we're going to schedule. So we're gonna schedule the week. We'll transfer over all of the tasks pretty much at the same time. And uh, I'm gonna use a variety of stickers like I was saying earlier. And then if for some reason, I do have like the last week this is like the first week of November. They put the last week in, but I'm going to be moving this. I'll shift this one over to my new binder because, I mean, there's only one day of October here. All right. So um, I wonder if I should also take a little look at my inbox here. We have to dry clean our winter jacket. So I wonder if that's something I should add onto my list too. Oh, and then because my son has a birthday party to go to November 5th, I might have to think about getting a birthday present for his friend before the end of like maybe this week as well right yeah oh there's so many things to do guys i think i need like an army i need like a team of people to come help me with stuff <laughs> and then i can just designate everything <laughs> that's what i need okay without further ado let's plan out the week here guys
with the tech sign XO. My ace boom boom, no flex, no. I won't gas you up like Petro. Just trying to take you way up with a jet go. But you didn't notice that. Keep clocking all my hours, I told you that. Work now, play later. But you keep going off on me. Keep texting like it's all on me. Yeah, you're all in my head like. You're my forever, not for right now. My day one, you hold me down. Hard cold like the winter time. Fight for your love, can't slow me down. Don't go far. I take me and you over living large. Know I'll be there wherever you are. Cause you shine bright like, you shine bright like a shoe. I spent a lot of time on this because I really wanted to make sure I had everything on my list. I'm going to see if I can zoom you in a bit. Um, it's a little, it feels excessive probably because it is, it's like a huge list of things to do and I don't know if I'll be able to tackle it. Like I'm not like I'm stressing out, but I'm just, there seems to be like a lot of things to do. So let me put this back here. Okay. Yeah, um, I have a little bit of space here, so I'll kind of show you what I did. Probably didn't need that much space on Tuesday because all I really have to do that day is like sticker design. But I like being able to cross things off as I think of them. So any work that comes up, I can add it here. I still have room. And I think I have all the things I need to take care of as far as appointments. Um, like I said, today that I'm filming this, I might have more doctor's appointments coming up like I'm sure they're going to book me for my next appointment and I don't know when that'll be it might be in two weeks from today it might be a month I don't know because then the next one would be November and then I'm due to give birth in December so it'll probably be two weeks because I'm so close to that time and I'll be getting like I don't know if I'll be getting more ultrasounds it depends how big she measures um, my stomach and yeah, I'm just I'm nervous that the baby will be big only because the last one was. So um, I just want to make sure I've got a whole bunch of questions to talk to my doctor about today. And uh, but I do need to get a head start on all of this stuff because this is the last week of October. And a lot of this stuff uh, was pertaining to my my goals for October. And usually what I try to do is like I don't want to carry over all of my goals from a previous month. Like, I mean, if I do, it's not the end of the world, but because I've got so many expectations of myself and because I've got so many things coming up in the new month and the new year, I guess, <laughs> AKA baby, it's just a lot to kind of take on. So, um, also I'm kind of acting like a single mom right now because my husband is working for extended periods of time. He has gone for like a month and a half at a time and it's super, super difficult to, to deal with everything. So, um, anyway, yeah, I just feel, I just need to take a breath sometimes, you know? So, um, I think I have everything on here. I've got a lot of my work stuff on here. Um, I was gonna like, cause I was just basically trying to use up stickers here. So I didn't put any of this stuff over here. 
I don't think. Unless I put yard clean up. Because I have, like, I wanted to try to maximize my space. So the things that are here are not, shouldn't be here anyway. Um, I put dust dressers here because I ran out of room here. But, yeah. So I'm just going to try to to cross off this stuff and just kind of, like, plot away at it throughout the week. And actually get stuff done, even if I am hurting. Like, I just need to do it. So there's not really anything I can say about that. I just have to do it. Like I'm the only one who can do it because I'm the only one here. So, um, but when my husband comes home the week after, so for me, for like work wise, other than like filming videos, cause those are pretty much like in real time, I have to do my plan with me and I have to do my budget and stuff. I don't have to do sticker design. I don't have to do my blogs. So it's almost like a break for me. And when you see me plan out next week, it's probably going to be a lot easier like it's not going to be as hard and a lot of the tasks that I have to do I can designate like I can give it to my husband to do <laughs> um, and I have been getting my son to help me with like yard cleanup I've been getting him to help me with the garbage because there's only certain things I can lift there's only certain things I can do um you'll notice I didn't put laundry on here so how I deal with laundry like because obviously that's another thing that I have to deal with when there's like three people in the house is um I have th right now, currently, like before baby comes, I have three baskets. My husband deals with his own laundry, although sometimes like before he heads off to work, he'll wash all his home laundry. So he has, it's kind of complicated. He has home laundry and work laundry. His work laundry, he can wash at his job, which I tell, I, I try to recommend because they provide the soap and then the water. So it kind of saves us money and his work stuff is um, heavy and I don't want to put it in our washer, especially if there's tons of mud on it and stuff. So he washes that before he leaves. And then if he knows he's going back, he's allowed to leave his stuff there. So that's what he does. He washes his stuff on his own here. And then sometimes if um, he runs at a time, he'll leave it for me and I'll just hang it up in his closet and fold his stuff and put it away, which I did last time. But like I said, he's only home like, um, like every, every six weeks. So anyway, uh, for right now, before Christmas holidays start. And then um, the next... The next thing is that I've got three baskets currently. So I used to have one in my son's room, but he never really would use the hamper. So I've got two in my room. I've got a basket for whites and a basket for colors. Then I've also got one in my daughter's room because with my daughter, she has sensitive skin. So I use like this baby wool light detergent and I wash all of her stuff together. But pretty soon I'll probably just start washing her stuff with mine and then I'll put the white separate from the colors because um, now that she's old enough and then I'll be washing baby stuff. So uh, I think that's what I'm going to start doing soon. It's just easier. It seemed easier when she had her own room and I had her basket in there. I would put all of her baby clothes in there, but I'm probably going to start separating soon. Um, and yeah, so then what my, my thing is, my laundry baskets are quite small, but as soon as it reaches the top, I take whatever one that is, it might be colors first usually, I take it downstairs and I wash it and then I fold it that same day. I never leave it for longer than a day. I used to, but not anymore. Like I put my foot down and I said, that's it. Um, and now I just do it no matter how tired I am. And then um, when the whites get full enough, usually about half full because whites never seem to really pile up that much, I will put them in the whitewash and depending on how dirty they are, sometimes I'll add bleach. Um, I'm severely allergic to bleach, so I have to be careful. I try not to use it in the house because I know like things nowadays like bleach, bleach is dangerous chemical to use, but it does clean, it does sanitize and um, with my sheets, I usually use it on my sheets as well. So yeah, so I just wanted to to say that because I, I don't have laundry on here and I just do it when I need to. So I don't really know what that is. So I don't, I don't add it on my, my plans, but anyway, so I think that's it for today. Um, we'll check in next week and I'll show you guys how far we've come dinners. I couldn't really think of anything else. Um, I might do like grilled cheese and soup or something for another dinner. But yeah, I'm just kind of brainstorming stuff that my kids would eat, right? Like it's difficult because my kids are all over the board on that. So, oh yeah. And then one thing other 
another thing I wanted to mention was, so I do have room here. Um, if I need to add more stuff, just a little bit of room. Then I also have next week. So date night is meant to go on next week. So I'm just going to prepare for that because I'll be doing my makeup. Probably won't feel like going out for that long, but I am going to budget for that. And I'm going to budget like $200 because I want to go out for dinner at a nice restaurant because it'll be the only date night that we'll get until after the baby is born. So um, <laughs> I'm going to splurge this time. And um, yeah, that'll be all the stuff next week. Down here, I'm going to leave this for my son's schoolwork. So because I do have to concentrate on it so much, this will be checking off what we've done each day. So we have uh, spelling words to do. We have extra homework because we're trying to, I'm trying to kind of tutor him um, in certain things, especially this one unit in his math. And then we also have extra writing we do. And then we also have um, reading. So he tries to read a book every night. And uh, I'm not putting too much pressure on. So we usually spend about 15, 20 minutes max because I don't want him to be tired and exhausted from schoolwork and we don't do everything every day. So uh, we'll do the word review every day. Um, I do a mixture of like getting him to just recall it and spell it out to me and then a mixture of him writing it down. So he has both um, methods in his head, but the reading is important and um, <clears throat> the writing is hard too. So we've been trying to focus on that so yeah, so, and then this will just be for his spelling words this week when we get them on. Uh, actually, we might not even have spelling words, maybe, but they won't be until Tuesday because he has no school on Monday. So anyway, so that is how I plan out my week, you guys. I know there are a number of different people who like to plan um, in Franklin. And usually Franklin is seen as more of a... Um, kind of like a business work thing. It's not really a decorative planner per se, but I know I do have people who watch my channel that like how I decorate. And then there are people who just like to see the, the usefulness of a Franklin planner, but I like to decorate. Um, it's just kind of who I am, but it, yet it's still very, um, you know, this is what I have to do. And it's still pretty much straightforward. I just I have added color. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna put this back. And uh, I, I'm excited to set up for November. I just, I don't really know if, um, I don't know if I'm going to downsize. I don't think I am because I have a lot of things in here that I use all the time quite regularly. And I don't know if I'll even be able to downsize at all. Like, I don't know if I want to or if I need to. I don't know. I'm going to switch this because I don't like that clip right now. This one goes better. Yeah, like my planner is like full of stuff, but yet it's necessary, right? Like I, I don't, I don't want my planner so full that it's going to break, but I also need everything that's in here. So anyway, I just wanted to, to say that, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a reel for, for today. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Click on that bell button to be notified when I upload new videos. And we'll see you all next week. Bye, friends.